In this short video, I'd like to show the process of making a Z projection. So that is where we have a, a Z series, a series of TIFF images. And we want to make a single image which has all of the data within the data, within the, the Z series. So it's like a, it's a 2D image of a 3D, or a, a 3D data set. So I'm going to use this plant data set. It's a trichome from uh, the underside of a, a fern which was embedded in, uh, in amber. The image you can see here is quite large. It's 1024 by 768. Let's show you the full image here. It's a nice data set, nice Z series. It's a little bit too big for the purposes of this demo, so I'm going to change the size here. And the width I'm going to make 512. I'm keeping the, the, the con, I'm constraining the aspect ratio so that the height stays proportional to the change in width. You'll see that there are the depth uh, is 133, which means there are 133 images in the stack. So I've resized those, and here's my data set. Okay, if I zoom in on this data set, you see that if I leave the mouse at the cursor just at this point here, if you look at the numbers that are registered up here, you'll see that I have a, an X and Y location of 263 and by 233. So that's the X, Y location. And the Z location is 51. That means it's slice 51. The value of that pixel at that XY location and at that Z level, at that slice number, is 178. If I move, sorry, if I use the arrow keys and move left or right, I can move through the data set. And you see that as I keep the mouse at the same point, the, the point at the same location, you'll see the value changes if you look at the numbers as the Z goes down. Okay, so what we have is a column at each X, Y location. Think of it as a column of numbers. And you see that it's actually changing quite a bit. So there's a variety of intensity values at that single location. We will use those numbers to make the Z projection. A maximum intensity projection would be an image which represents at that pixel location the highest intensity value. So the highest intensity value in this column of data. It should be a bit clearer as we make the image. So let me zoom back here. Okay. So here's my Z series. I'm going to make a Z, um, a Z projection by going to Stacks, Z Project. I'm going to start at slice 1, go to slice 133, three, and in this case I'm going to take the maximum intensity projection. So this will make a new image, and every location, every XY pixel location will be given the intensity value the highest maximum intensity value that was present down that column of pixels in the original data set. So, click OK. Here's our image. Looks very 3D. And if I move my mouse around the data and you look at the numbers that are up here, you'll see that probably the maximum value that I will get would be probably 255, but probably just slightly less than that. But it's an 8-bit image. Let's just check that. Well, it tells us here it's an 8-bit image. Okay. What I could do is I could make an image which has the average intensity down a column of numbers. So let's select that. Go stack, Z project, and we'll do an average intensity. And obviously it's a bit dimmer because it's looked down the column of pixel values and taken the average. 
I don't tend to use that very often. What if we summed all of the values? Okay, so we go to Z project and we'll go sum slices. Now it looks fairly similar to this image. However, you'll note here that this image is an 8 bit image and this is a 32 bit image and that is because if you add together all of the intensity values you will of course exceed 255 and if you look at the numbers up here as I run the mouse around you'll see that we get much much larger values and it's for you to decide whether you think that this image here has a nicer quality than that image there and your choice of whether to use a maximum intensity or a summed intensity would be dependent on your particular application. If we were to make a minimum intensity, then as you would have guessed by now, it's probably going to be a very low level image, uh, intensity values. And sure enough, there's virtually nothing there. We could change the lookup table to see if there actually is anything there. Nah, nothing. Or we could try a standard deviation. So we do Z projection. And this is the standard deviation of taking from the average uh, of all the slices. Actually, it looks not too bad. Let's just check that that was a standard deviation. Stack and Z project. Yeah, standard deviation. It's quite a nice image. It looks quite smooth, the image. And finally, the last option is the median. And that would produce the median value in the column of data, which of course is really quite dim. And we would have to change the lookup table to see if there was anything there. This is not one that I would have normally ever used myself. So that's how to make a Z projection of a data set.